Welcome to Digital Asset News, like the top stories in crypto, and I'm bringing out a bite-sized pieces. Today, just as the title suggested, Cardano is being delisted. I'm going to tell you uh, what is going on, and I think we're going to talk about a little bit about the reasoning behind why this is all happening right now. So we'll take a look at that. Also, we're going to take a look at uh, why it revolves around all utility. I'll also take a look at uh, Oasis Protocol and Facebook Meta as they kind of join together. I think this is going to be big. I don't know why this project hasn't exploded already. And lastly, we'll talk about 50% off just by using a specific crypto for the different shopping you're going to do around Christmas time. So we'll take a look at all those things, but first let's take a look at what's going on in the market. So today, hey, you know, besides that delisting thing, everything's looking pretty good as far as the market uh, in general. So we've got a total market cap of $2.6 trillion. Not so bad. I'll take it. I don't know if we're going to hit this uh, 96000 or whatever it was, it was from Plan B, but hey, what are you going to do? 57390 for the Bitcoin price. And if we just take a look at it, I mean... Sentiment is around, you know, 50-50. We're using trade the chain for sentiment analysis. And uh, yeah, over the last 24 hours, I mean, it's been kind of sideways. I mean, 6% up for Binance coin, I suppose. So not too bad. 10% down for Avalanche. Ouchie. And uh, I will tell you, there's been some rumblings about Avalanche, how good it's been doing. But also, because more people are using it, uh, it's good. the uh, network gets a little bit more congested. So uh, people are kind of finding that out. 20% uh, up for Crypto.com. It's going to break in the top 10 at some point, I swear. And then things just going you know, pretty good, a little bit sideways. And uh, for me, when I woke up today, it was down much more. And uh, I was just like, man. But yet I looked at my overall portfolio, and there were some pretty good things when I take a look at uh, like some different parts of it that uh, I think are doing pretty darn good. And when I take a look at this, it's all my metaverse plays, metaverse and gaming. So Decentraland was up at this at this point at 6%. And then also uh, we had uh, Sandbox was up like 30% and Engine Coin was up by another 10%. So again, don't sleep too much on these metaverse plays. It's kind of like it balances things out as you see the cryptocurrency uh, type part where the old school blue chippers kind of just fall down a little bit. But then this metaverse play and the play to earn goes up. So it's like a teeter totter. I'm kind of liking uh, how things are uh, looking in that aspect. And then also people have been asking me about, you know, hey, are you worried about, you know, these dips, uh, especially what's going on? Well, I mean, yeah, I'm a little bit concerned myself. I don't like dips. I wish it would just go up forever, but it doesn't work like that. And just like a recap, I'm sure you've, you've seen these things around the YouTubes. Uh, in November, uh, this was in uh, 2017, if we take a look at it here, uh, corrections are pretty deep. I mean, usually when they happen, 30 to 40%. And the last one, uh, this one that uh, says 2410, 30.3%, uh, that's that was in November of 2017. It, it was a pretty sizable correction, and then but after that everything just blasted up. So uh, don't discount the fact that there's going to be bumps uh, going along the way. It's okay. It's going to be all right. We're not the traditional markets. If you don't like the change, the price just change. Just wait a little bit. It'll change. So that's what we have going on uh, in the market itself. Let's just get into uh, today's one of the big stories that I like to talk about, which is. Uh, Cardano being delisted. So, ADA. I like ADA. I mean, down here you can see that I'm talking about D News, the D News pool, and uh, I'd be able to uh, stake it and whatnot. So, what the heck is going on here? Well, this came to my attention. Actually, it came to my attention from, from two people. One was a subscriber uh, that said, Hey, I got this email from eToro. And the next one was James from Invest Answers. And he, he put this on, on his Patreon. And yes, I'm a member of his Patreon. It's fantastic. If you can get in, you should get in. But uh, he linked to this one, eToro to delist Cardano and Tron for U.S. customers due to regulatory issues. Here's what's going on. And uh, it says here, according to eToro, the decision is solely due to business-related reasons citing the evolving crypto regulatory environment. Okay. For holders of the tokens, eToro say that U.S. customers would be able to sell their holdings in exchange for the dollar. Then it goes on to some other tangent. It gets kind of boring. I'm not going to even bother with that part. So here's the thing. Uh, when James was talking about this, he's right. I mean, it's not the greatest optics for what is going on. I mean, in all honesty, uh, ADA uh, being delisted will probably play a little bit of a part as far as uh, price action. I don't know if it's going to go down a ton or just a little bit, like 0.5%. I have no idea. But uh, again, you have to think of it as why did they do it? Well, they did it. It's, it's all related to the Howey test 
and having to do things with, is it a utility? Is it not a utility? Is it a security? What's going on? How is it all, how is it all working? And remind you, the Howey test is from 1933, so I don't know how they're actually able to uh, put that into this context. I mean, uh, maybe Genzo's got a, a super secret way, I have no idea. But uh, that is uh, what is going on in this space. And when I think about it, I mean, here's the deal. Uh, people are going to sell at some point and some people are going to buy. The question is how many people are going to buy more on this news as opposed to the other way around. Optics isn't great, I will tell you that. But if it is all about utility, I want to remind you of some things uh, before we go on. So first of all, what separates Cardano from all the other different projects out there? And before all, before you answer, I know some people hate Cardano, some people love Cardano and everything in the middle. Let's take some emotions out of it for a second. First of all, I'll play the devil's advocate and say, yes, we don't have a decentralized exchange. Yes, the smart contracts aren't perfect right now. And yes, they need to do upgrades with the language as far as Plutus. The thing is, though, you have to remember, if we're just talking about utility, which is what I kind of think things are going on here, there may be other aspects of, of why eToro delisted, but I think it something has to do with utility. There are still these things called NFTs, and uh, they are pretty big on Cardano. And if you don't know, I've been minting uh, NFTs for a while now on Cardano. Super cheap and super easy. Just like uh, this one at Cardano Combat. Uh, they gave me this one to give away. So follow me at News Asset and I'll give you one of these uh, NFTs uh, from Cardano Combat. So, and that's just that one. Uh, you've also got uh, uh, Ada Ape. He's got his own Wild Warriors and those types of things. And there's a plethora of different NFTs you can be minted. On top of the fact that if we're talking about the metaverse, you know, take a look at Cornucopias. I will link that in the description. This is a metaverse island. And of course, to get around, you're going to need Cardano to buy NFTs and do things around the game, which is all going to be based on ADA and Cardano. That's a little bit of utility uh, for there. On top of that, you're also going to have these little mini games in inside the uh, Cornucopias game. And what are you going to use? Probably the in-game token, but also uh, a little bit of ADA to go around. I'm going to need ADA. You're going to need ADA. That's what we call utility. Also, don't forget that Sunday Swap uh, has just uh, gotten done with selecting their <coughs> stake pool operators. Uh, first of all, thanks everybody who voted for me. Unfortunately, we did not uh, get in that top 30 spot. We were number 40. Not because of the amount of votes, mind you. We had the seventh most amount of votes uh, for to be a stake pool operator, D News be a stake pool operator. But that didn't matter because they went by uh, the amount of ADA in those wallets that were voting, which, you know, whatever, I'm not going to get into it in this video, but sure. But Sunday Swap is doing their ISPO, their stake pool, or their, their initial stake pool offering. And uh, they've already done some transactions as far as DeFi. And what are you going to need to make that run? You guessed it. It's going to be Cardano on top of the fact of World Mobile. Uh, which they are trying to connect the unconnected in uh, places like Tanz Tanzania and different places in sub-Saharan Africa, uh, where they're going to build the infrastructure and then base their economy based on Cardano. And then also we'll take a look at, uh, there's, and I've, this is funny, even just, this was on November, this was yesterday. Uh, they're putting out a blimp, a world mobile blimp uh, for the infrastructure to, I from what it looks like for as, as far as like connection, and uh, uh, the space as far as Wi-Fi or, or uh, telecommunications, excuse me. And then, of course, what do they need for uh, the actual monetary funds based on Cardano and the blockchain? So, again, um, why they did this as far as eToro uh, is anybody's guess, but this is where we're at uh, as far as what's going on. You are free to play it either way you want. I'm interested to see what you have to say in the comments section and try to keep a little bit of emotions out of it. <laughs> Good luck. And then uh, let me know what you think about that in the comments section. Let's move on to our next piece. And what well, utility we already talked about, Oasis. Oasis and Facebook Meta. So this was actually pointed out to me on Twitter and I just totally uh, perused over it. And I thought this was a pretty big deal, but no one's talking about it. So. Oasis Protocol inks a partnership with Meta to facilitate AI computing uh, applications. So I'm like, hmm, tell me more. So this one, uh, blockchain startup Oasis Protocol announced a new alliance with uh, the artificial intelligence uni unit of Meta platforms, NASDAQ, Facebook, or FB, with both geared to develop the capabilities and applications of AI computing. So when I first read this, I'm like, okay, well, who really cares? Because, I mean, 
if they're working with Meta, it's probably going to be pretty closed off and just going to be their own like little private blockchain or whatnot. But here's where it gets interesting. So they scroll down here. Oasis Protocol brandishes a privacy-enabled blockchain platform for open finance and a, re a responsible data economy. As a layer one blockchain network, Oasis permits anyone to build on its secure protocol. However, privacy enabled blockchain platform. So I'm like, hmm, if anybody needs help with privacy and losing data, it definitely is Facebook, or I guess we can call it Meta now. And then that just happened November 18th, mind you. So I was like, well, what did the price do? Not much, in all honesty. So this is Oasis Protocol, Rose, uh, 41 cents. And uh, you can see the nice little logo there. Uh, matches up with uh, their Twitter account. That's how I found uh, their website and on uh, CoinGecko. It's, uh, the market cap is $604 million, And in seven days, I mean, it did okay. $0.28. Cents. Now it's at uh, $0.40. Cents. So I guess I mean, it did pretty good. Excuse me. But I mean, not to where you would see like this is like astronomical as it's working with Facebook. Now I know there's a lot of things, a lot of more uh, happenings coming on the pipe. But to me, I will probably be doing a deep dive into this project and see exactly where it is. And right now, I think it's in the low 100s or between 100 and 200. So uh, definitely something to watch. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section. And lastly, we'll take a look at 50% off. Everybody likes to save money. Nobody doesn't, uh, I think. And uh, this real quick, it's from Shopping.io. I covered this uh, in our video uh, a couple of days ago about the uh, Bitcoin DEX. And the video I'll link at the very end. And really all it really comes down to is you go to shopping.io. I'll put the link in the description, of course. And you just click on this 50% off Crypto Tuesday. I, never, I had no idea that was a thing. Crypto Tuesday mega sale. And then you can sign up and uh, anything that you want to buy, uh, whether it be from Amazon, eBay, Walmart, or Home Depot. I'm sure a lot of you have those in, in your areas. Uh, then you can take up to 50% off. And see what I'm talking about? I'm not going to beat a dead horse. Just watch this video, link in the description. And that is it for today. So look, I know it was uh, actually a little bit short today. We actually shortened up things today. And I know people are uh, pretty, they're going to see this story about Ada and Cardano being delisted and really get bent out of shape. And some will be like, eh, whatever. But in all honesty, as everything comes down the pipe and we'll see how it all goes, I mean, I just see it like, it is utility. And that's why Ethereum got a pass because it wasn't because Ethereum had so much utility. If you ever uh, read the book, The Invisible Machine, it talks about how the way that they bypass everything is they talk to their lawyers and their lawyers said, yes, if you want to get around the uh, SEC and the securities, make sure it's a utility. So we're going to just drive home the fact that Ethereum is all about gas and what it can do. It's the same thing, I think, with Cardano. Now, there may be something else coming out. And there's going to be some price action, but uh, we'll see how it all works out. I think in the long run, as you've seen, things are going to be okay. All right, so that's it. So look, if uh, you liked today's video, if you found a little uh, uh, entertainment, a little education, give it a thumbs up, give it a like. Always consider subscribing. A lot of things we talk about are time sensitive, especially these next two or three months. So that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.